Fantastic question. Um, and I can answer the question differently today than I could have seven days ago. And the reason for that is we just announced to the stock exchange last week that we've secured funding for 250 million euros for investment uh, for new properties. And that will allow us to leverage. So in essence, we have a half a billion pound portfolio um, already for expansion. As an owner operator developer, we're constantly checking the market in terms of what's available, um, where we have the best return. Obviously then in terms of growing the brand equity, uh, because there's value in terms of that. Um, so one of the areas that we've got, and you'll notice it in terms of Hoxton, because Hoxton is mixed use. Um, so within Hoxton, and part of the plans we have for Hoxton um, are that you will have um, 60 apartments built within the property. Um, they are designed for a long stay, should we wish. Uh, we've just under 6,000 square metres of um, office space, uh, which may be going into a rework type operation, or it may well go into a single owner operation. Mm -hmm. We're going to market at the moment um, because uh, you, know, you don't need a crystal ball to understand the whole work-life balance, work from home, where is it at now, where will it be in the future, but the great thing is, we're developing and we're building, so we flex entirely. Um, the challenge that a lot of hotel operators have is they have to accept what the developer built. And the developer built it for his immediate short-term gain. Um, he's in, builds, exits, takes some banks. Um, we don't. Um, we understand uh, what adds most value to the, uh, to the business. Um, what uh, drives the greatest uh, operational efficiencies um, because we're the ones who will be securing the GOP where it comes um, and also building in flexibility. Um, so Hoxton is probably the example of the most amount of flexibility that we've built into any property. Um, the uh, fantastic restaurant that we have on the ground floor interconnects fluidly to the first floor. So therefore, if that restaurant is absolutely, um, you know, taking off, as is our expectation, um, then we know that seamlessly we can expand into the, uh, the floor above uh, as part of the same offer and where that goes. The meeting space we have on the 24th floor um, with, you know, uh, floor to ceiling windows, absolutely superb, um, lends itself not only in terms of the traditional conferencing and the high tech, that's required in the area, but also as a social space. So if we rent it as a social space, we also have the opportunity then, because we've put it in, we've put in a um, dedicated feature staircase to connect to, to the feature bar, restaurant and lounge that's on the 25th floor. Um, we have secured planning permission at the moment for uh, another site at Park Royal. Um, so we have a very successful 212 bedroom um, Park Plaza Hotel that's there. Um, we uh, kept part of the site free um, for that. We have uh, planning permission, but the planning permission we have for that, and, and get ready for this one, because it is confusing, uh, 466 bedrooms um, that we have, at 6,000 square meters of light industrial space, 3,000 square meters of co-working or office space, um, and in addition to fantastic leisure space, fantastic uh, space then that would also suit a co-living model uh, in terms of, you know, in, within the food and beverage area, I've designed a space where people can come on semi-raised seating to sit and watch the football. Yeah. Yeah, nice. where, where that is. Yeah. So it's designed within clusters. So it's having a look at all of those markets. Um, we haven't put a spade in the ground yet in terms of that area, but we've built in all of that flexibility. You know, the new relationship and how we've changed our, our model uh, in terms of actively looking for partners. Um, with during um, COVID, we um, had a partner, um, an insurance company who've come in as 49% owners of Riverbank, 49% owner of um, Hoxton and they're the anchor uh, fund in terms of our European Property Investment Fund. Um, so the great thing is when you're sitting down with a third party who's prepared to put their hand in their pocket mm -hmm. and pay the cash, 
you have questions where they're saying, have you considered? Mm. Yeah. What about? Would you not? Yeah. Um, because they're coming at it, you know, listen, we're all so passionate about what we do. We have the same two uh, owner founders who founded this company almost 30 years ago. There's a massive amount of passion and personal pride. But also then having a third party, they're saying, what about and have you? Mm -hmm. So for us as a leadership team, it means that we have to examine all of the options. Um, and we're also given the, we're given the scope to do it. Um, so very, very interesting times. Um, and I think that's also reflected, and that was one of the drivers in terms of the relationship also with Radisson Hotel Group, uh, in terms of are we optimizing the assets we have currently? It's very exciting and my to-do list is getting a little bit longer than I wanted. Um, so obviously the key focus for me here in the UK is um, Hoxton. Yeah, the Art Hotel Hoxton. Um, so that will be opening in Q1 of um, 24. Mm -hmm. So coming through on that. So less than nine months away um, before we're in there and we're in there with the team. Um, in terms then of the Art Hotel brand, um, our next focus is within Rome and again we're going to cluster within Rome mm -hmm. so the first property we had was a beautiful old lady called the Londra and Cargo um, so the team have gone in they've completely stripped that back that's in process then and that will open as an art hotel uh, again next year um, in Zagreb um, again we're opening another art hotel uh, beautiful beautiful um, mid 20th century uh, property fully refurbished uh, coming through on that um, we obviously will put the shovel in the ground for park royal uh, in terms of what that is and that will be happening probably within the next six months uh, making a meaningful start um, on that and um, we have a fantastic site as well in um, Lambeth, just around the corner from the Park Plaza Waterloo. And we're at the final stages of just tweaking that. Um, so we expect to complete the planning process for that within the next six months. Um, and the shovels are already there. <laughs> they're, 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 they're ready to go. Um, so yeah, they're very, very exciting. Um, and that's without, they were the projects that PPHE had funded themselves and all ready to go. Um, obviously now that we've got half a billion euros uh, burning a hole in the pocket, the development team um, are looking now at the other sites. Um, we obviously have a commitment to make those purchases in a timely manner. Um, so yeah, the development pipeline in terms of this week rather than 10 days ago uh, is significantly more focused. COVID was a very good time for us because it gave us the opportunity to pause and we actually completed an entire strategic review uh, in terms of what will the future look like for us. And one of the key um, cornerstones of that was a fantastic new relationship with Radisson Hotel Group. Mm -hmm. um, we've always had a great relationship with them and we took it completely to another level. And what that level means that we've taken it to is that we now have complete access to the Radis every uh, brand within the Radisson portfolio. Mm. And more importantly, they have access to our brands. So they have access to the Park Plaza brand within the, uh, Europe, Middle East and Africa, where we have the perpetual rights. Mm. Um, so there's some cities, for argument's sake, we've said strategically, we won't go into uh, Istanbul. Uh, it's too far away. They've said, that's absolutely fine. We have owners who want park plazas in Istanbul. Perfect partnership there. Um, we will concentrate on rolling out the Art Hotel brand um, in the key European cities that we've identified, in, and of course, New York. Uh, in addition to that, they've got a portfolio of owners who want to have Art Hotel around the world. Mm -hmm. So that immediately changed everything that we've had. Um, one of our hotels in uh, Bucharest, we're actually rebadging that to uh, one of the Radisson brands mm -hmm. uh, in terms of coming. So that really just opened up the horizons.